Hey guys, it's Colin from Dynamic Beaver again. Just a quick demo here to show you how to set up the Dynamic Website Builder so that you can use full width rows using the Beaver Builder plugin. So, if we just to demonstrate what I mean here, I'm going to create a page just to show you how it normally reacts without uh, the modifications we're going to make. Now, I'm going to add a new page and uh, we're just going to call this uh, oh, page one that will work okay uh, i'm going to go down here and choose the full width page or what seems to be the full width page and over here i'm actually going to choose um i'm going to choose the default template that should do it okay so i'm going to save a draft and what we're going to actually do next is i'm going to uh, open the page builder and I'm going to use one of the templates and I, I know that this is a full width theme or a full width for graphics but as you can see it's not going from edge to edge I'm going to save it right there and we're going to have a look at it once I've actually published the changes as you can see we're constrained to the actual width of the page in this case it's going to be 1140 because that's what dynamic website builder is set at by default uh, and so we, we're not actually stretching from side to side so my goal is to uh, get you to be able to create rows that stretch right side to side so let's start off okay so what I've done is I've, I've started creating a post over on dynamic beaver and here's the post there's no video there yet because obviously I'm recording that right now but what we're going to do is we're going to actually copy this uh, first set of code here and I'm going to view the raw version of this so that uh, we, we don't get any other um, code there I'm going to control C just copy that one or you can right click and copy whichever whichever you choose I like to control C uh, keyboard shortcut and I'm going to go back over to my uh, admin here for the demo and I'm going to go to the dashboard let's uh, get my menu bar up okay so then we go to Genesis and within the Genesis settings we can go down to dynamic custom and in here we can select the templates page and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paste this this in here so I can right click and paste or I can uh, control V but let's let's just paste it in there so that's that's the PHP code added into the custom box but I've got to actually do some naming up here so if I uh, if I look back at uh, my page here I think we've called this let's have a look what did we call it I'm gonna paste into here BB full width this this area here so let's go over here and type in BB full width no uh, no spaces and lower case just to keep things simple because this is actually what the, the uh, code sees and over here I'm going to put uh, beaver builder full width this is actually what you will see when you when you select your template so beaver builder full width and that's the first section done so what we've got to do is click on save changes and we've actually created the page template that we need for beaver builder to work uh, in a full width manner but we need to go over and actually create CSS now. So if we go back to that post I did here. We've got step four. We'll do the same thing. We'll view the raw code. We'll actually select all that. And once again, control C. Okay, I'll go back over here. We're gonna paste that into our CSS section of the dynamic custom uh, part of your uh, dynamic theme. So we're just gonna click in here and control V and we're gonna save changes there okay so that's all we need to do on the back end to get the full width rows working let's go over to pages uh, let's create a new one let's add number two funny enough let's go two. okay we're going to go down here and select the full width it's just I guess it's just a, a habit I do now if we go into the uh, template area here we can notice we've got a beaver full width option in addition to all the other ones so we're going to click on that and I'm going to save the draft. It's a, it's a habit of mine to save a draft just as we create the page. And I'm going to open the Beaver Builder page builder. Okay. And what you're going to notice is that I'm going to click on the same template we used before, the Hope template. And you're going to notice that we now have full width. So that is all we need to do to create the full width pages. So I'm going to click on Done, Publish Changes. And there's your full width edge to edge wrap that uh, we were looking at so it's pretty easy the, the, the instructions are on my my blog page there or just below this uh, video so if you'd like to uh, get full width rows in dynamic website builder with beaver builder there you go thanks for viewing and look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks a lot bye now